Hey everyone, so we got a, a special video here. I've got a film tank. I'm actually going to sell it, so I wanted to film a video about it before I go, uh, before I let it go, rather. This is the FR Special Model 2 film developing tub, and it's a pretty cool little gizmo. It's the only film tank I have that's capable of developing 116 and 616 film, but those haven't been made in a long time and I don't have any cameras that shoot them and I don't think I'm really at any risk of ever shooting those films so I don't really need the tank unfortunately because it is pretty cool and this one came with the original test film, the manual, the warranty, and the box which is in really really good condition and this is a complete example Everything that I've just showed you is complete for what this has. Now, I'm doing a video about this tank because it's a plastic tank, but it works a little bit differently than most plastic tanks do. So I'm going to open it up here. And you can see with this tank, it has the light baffle and the swizzler built into it. So with other tanks you've seen me use in videos, after the film is loaded into the tank, let's say that there's film in here, you would rotate it and twist and rotate it and twist to do the agitation. Well, that's not required with this tank because it's got a built-in agitator. So once you have the film loaded, you just agitate it. Now, interestingly, this is the only plastic reel I've ever seen like this. So it expands to the different sizes, 35 millimeter, 126 or 828, 127, 122, 20 and 620, or 116 and 616. So we can see those all here, I'll show you. So this is 35 millimeter or 828, 127, 120, uh, 620, and uh, 220, oh wait, no, that's one. Now I've got to get the manual out because I've screwed up and made myself look silly in the process. Okay, so let's try this again. So here we've got 35 millimeter. So here we have 35 millimeter, and as you can see, I've taken the light baffle off, so it's out of the way. Now, as you're doing this, make sure not to put your leverage here, don't pull on this. It's two different pieces of plastic, so in fact, it's actually pretty easy to pop that one off. It's not attached to anything really solidly. So I'm going to put my thumb here. And now we've extended it to take 120, oops. One, ah. There we go, 127 film. We're going to do this a step at a time. 120, 220, and 620 film. 116 and 616 film. So I'm going to go grab some 120 film, and ah, man, this thing is not the most cooperative I've ever used. I'm going to go grab some 120 film, and I'm going to show you guys how to load this. Okay, so we're back here. We're going to load this 120 film. Now you might see here that there's this sharp pointy hook. Some 120 film, and I've, I've seen, I have a, a couple brands that have this, this have a hole in the end of them. And that hole, that hole can just go right on that hook. However, this does not have a hole in the end of it, so I'm going to slide the end underneath that hook. It's going to stay there for a little bit, and then try to work these ends into the grooves. It's a little bit tricky this way. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to hold that until I get this started. And once I get it started, you can see it's come out of the clip and now it wants to just pull out as I feed this. But now that I have it started, it's going in very e uh, Just as I say, it's going in very easily, it gets all screwed up. In general, it's going in very easily. Now, bearing in mind, in real life, of course, you would have to do all of this completely in the dark. Uh, you cannot even do this in a red light. Fil roll film needs to be done in the dark. And as you can see, it fills up ab about half of the, maybe a little bit more than half of the uh, 
the spool's radius. And now that's loaded, now you would go through your developing process, and you can check out one of my developing videos if you need some pointers on that. And then after this is developed and washed, just pull for a little bit. And then it all comes off. It is really the simplest to use plastic spool that I've ever come across. And uh, it's very, very cleverly designed in that it's mechanically simple. Uh, since you can't rotate it, there's no risk of the rotation mechanism breaking. Uh, there's also, there used to be an adapter for this where you could take this top piece off and then put a double flanged piece in the middle, which would allow you to develop two rolls of 35 millimeter film. Uh, I do not have that, unfortunately, but uh, it was available back in the day. So that is the FR Special number two developing tank. So if this video was helpful, leave me a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'd be more than happy to respond. And yes, most plastic tanks work generally like this one, which is to say that once you've got the film loaded, you just put it in there, put the lid back on, completely in the dark, obviously, and then you do your agitation way just by spinning the center column and so if you have any questions leave them in the comments and if you'd like to you can subscribe and you'll find out when I have more videos coming out one last thing thank you guys for watching